Привет, друзья! Как дела? My name is Fedor, and today is the first episode of Practice Friday Season 3. The first actual episode besides just the intro. And today we're going to talk about how to expand your vocabulary. You know, uh, I, can, I can give you 15 lessons on vocabulary. I can give you vocabulary of taxi, airport, all of those things, all those most common things. But still, I'm not going to cover some things that each person uses in their everyday life because your vocabulary and things that you're going to need like to say how to name uh, objects in your life are going to very are going to be very dependable on very dependent on where you live or your job or your occupation or your status in society whatever it is right if you live in the south it's, it, sorry if you live somewhere when it's warm is going to be different from if you live somewhere when it's very cold. If you li live in, if you're a college student, your vocabulary is going to be different from, you know, a high school student or even a you know, employee somewhere or a business. Whatever it is, you, you get my idea. Your vocabulary is going to be very dependent on who you are, pretty much. And you should not rely on these videos where people are talking about vocabulary. You should be able to somehow figure out things. Um, that that you actually need and today we're gonna talk about that how to really expand the vocabulary how to know what you need and where to get started okay I assume that you have zero words in Russian and since uh, this participant geared to vocabulary this is the first one and how to really start off with uh, with the first basic vocabulary words okay so I have a list right here in front of me and the first thing that you should learn uh, every single word of of your room, okay? Every single object in your room has a name in Russian, probably. For example, in my case, it's, it's, uh, it's going to be шкаф, wardrobe, кровать, bed, гитара, guitar, стена, wall, stall, table. I just looked around myself and there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... More than maybe like a hundred words that I can translate and I can learn, okay? The reason why you have to start with this is because things that are in your room are things that you see every single day and that you probably are using every single day. I use my bed every day, right? I have to go to bed. I use my table every day because I have to write on it or I have to just do my work. Whatever it is, I use things that are in my room on a daily basis. Okay, and you need to know how to describe things that you use on a daily basis. Without that, uh, you know, how good is your Russian if you cannot really describe things that you use every day? Okay, once you get that, maybe, of course, not every individual thing. Like, for example, there is a small crack in my wall, maybe, right? I should learn that, that vocabulary because it's very, you know, detailed, very, very uh, rare, rarely used. Okay, but if you want to go that route, go ahead. Second thing that you should learn is vocabulary of your house. Get out of your room and look in your kitchen, in your bathroom, in your living room, in your maybe backyard, porch, whatever it is. Learn those things. Look in the kitchen. There is a fridge. There is a sink. There is whatever. The same situation is going to apply to your living room, to your bathroom, to your whatever. And you have to learn those things as well because even, even though you don't see them as often as your room, vocabulary, your room objects, you still see it every day, okay? Next one is learn vocabulary of your workplace. Of course, it can be college, it can be high school, it can be whatever. Learn those words as well because you see that, you see them rare, rare, more rare than your house, but still you see them every day. And lastly, learn things that, that are in your everyday or at least every week use. For example, maybe you travel to your work by car, learn car parts, learn your license, learn the um, street light, learn the street sign names, things that you see every week, things that are in your life very often, learn them. And I think these four points may cover up to a thousand words already. And those are the things that are going to be mostly used in your everyday life, every, sorry, in your everyday conversations, okay? You're not going to talk to, to uh, you know, a Russian native about some things that you're not aware. You're going to talk about your job, you're 
You're gonna talk about your house. You're gonna talk about your maybe your state of mind, your sickness, your feel good, you feel bad, all those things. Okay, so this should cover a lot. But another exercise that um, I really you know tell my students to do a lot, uh, preferably every day, is build five to ten sentences on a daily basis. Okay, and say like a full sentence. Use five to ten full sentences. Talk about something that happened to you that day or that you're thinking about or that is going to happen to you tomorrow or in the next week. Like whatever those sentences are. Talk about your life. And they must be true. Okay? They cannot be imaginary. They cannot be fiction. Okay? You, you shouldn't say Mary uh, bought her for first car. When you don't know who Mary is, when you don't know... Just like you just came up with it. Speak about your life. The reason why is because when you're going to talk to people, you're going to talk about either your life or their lives. Okay? And it's good that you have already practiced that prior to it. Okay? That you don't go in with like a fresh uh, fresh mind and fresh, uh, like without being, without that being rehearsed. Okay? So do that. And along with that exercise, you're going to figure out things that you don't know. Like, uh, okay, um, I love dogs, right? You, for example, don't know how to say dogs. You say, okay, I, yeah, love, blue, blue. Okay, what's dogs? I don't know. Let me figure it out. Let me look it up. Let me search for videos about it. Let me search for articles about it. And then you're going to find the word. Okay? And that's how you're going to expand your vocabulary. That's the fifth one, the fifth point. Okay? So, let me just recap what I've said today. Vocabulary of your little... Sorry, vocabulary of your room is number one, vocabulary of your house, number two, vocabulary of your workplace, number three, vocabulary of your everyday things, every week things, number four, and build 10 sentences, up to 10 sentences a day about your life is number five, and your vocabulary will grow exponentially. But if you still struggle with whatever it is, please let me know in the comments, I'm going to help you out uh, to the best of my ability, Okay. And next video, we're going to talk about how to retain all the things that you have learned. And the exercise for today, since it's a practice Friday, right? Exercise for, exercise for today. Uh, look, at, look, look around your room. Let's start with the first point. And put in the comments 10 words that you didn't know prior to watching this video. For example, you didn't know uh, I have scotch tape right there on my shelf. I didn't know, what, what's scotch tape in Russian? Hmm, I don't know. Let me Google. Let me, let me search. And then put them in the comments. I'm going to check them, correct them, and give you feedback on them. And I'll see you next week for another Practice Friday talking about how to retain all the words that you have learned. Пока-пока.